everyone doing this afternoon? This is a public art dedication. How's everyone doing today? All right. Well, I'm Mitch Minchaka. I'm the director of the Office of Arts and Culture for the City of Phoenix, and I want to thank you for being here for this beautiful day where we get to dedicate this piece of public art. I want to first welcome um, our elected official, Councilwoman Deborah Stark, who is with us today, who will say uh, some remarks later on. We also have Karen Peters, Deputy City Manager, with us. Katherine Sorensen, the director of the Water Services Department, staff from both the Water Services Department and the Office of Arts and Culture. We also have Maricopa County Air Quality with us today. Uh, artist Barbara Grugaitis, who did this wonderful piece for us. Woo! Dig Studios, contractors Felix Construction, members of the Phoenix Arts and Culture Commission, the Friends of Phoenix Public Art, the community and the neighboring uh, neighborhood with us. This is the second in a series of well site enhancement projects that the city is working on throughout the city. Before the site was redesigned, it was an empty lot with gravel that was holding a lot of heat and serving a little purpose besides being just an empty lot. And there's photos across from the water table that show where uh, what this looked like before uh, we started this process. Uh, artist Barbara Gregaitis and landscape architect Dick Studio took these considerations about turning this into a neighborhood treasure uh, with the community process to turn it into what it is today, uh, into a cohesive design of the meandering pathway. The sculpture with its blue lighting and the fencing along the back of the site to protect the equipment bring this whole piece together. So everything you see here is a cohesion of the process with the community and the artist. The primary goal for these projects is to add shade and encourage low water use landscaping while improving the look of the site and adding safety and security. But this couldn't have been possible without the Water Services Department. And I want to turn it over to Katherine Sorensen, Director of the Water Services Department. Thank you so much. Good evening. We're, oh. I'm just going to talk over that. Oh, there it goes. We are really excited to be here. Our partnership with the Arts Department means so much to us. I think you can imagine um, that you know we employ in the Water Services Department a lot of great folks, uh, but mostly engineers and, and types like that. And sometimes it's difficult for us to tell our story. We all know how important water is in our desert city, but our infrastructure for the most part, it's buried underground or it's behind fortified walls. And it's really difficult for us to get out there and connect with the public. And unfortunately, as was the case with this site, at times when our infrastructure is above ground, it's often an eyesore in neighborhoods. And that's just not acceptable. Uh, our infrastructure should serve the public, but it should also be a community amenity that is appreciated. And it's for this reason that we are so grateful for the Public Arts Department and to the support of our Phoenix City Council, who are really the ones who vote for these projects and make them happen. So with that, I would like to turn the attention over to Councilwoman Stark, who is here to celebrate this fantastic piece of art with us. Thank you, it's so good to be here. Um, just a little secret, we're actually in District 6, shh, because you know I love Sunny Slope. I come to any Sunny Slope uh, event, but it is great to be here. And I got to tell you, what makes this so special is the community was involved in this. They truly were. We had several meetings where we asked residents of Sunny Slope to come and talk about what they envisioned for this. And this is what came of it, thanks to both the artists, who did a fabulous job, and that lots of thanks to the community as well because this is a part of sunny slope and i think it really is a statement what i also like is if you look a little further you can see the s too as well so it really does bring out what's great about sunny slope i gotta tell you this is a great partnership that's the greatest thing about the city is that we do partner amongst our different departments and this really began as a water project but public art stepped up and did a fabulous job. It's great to be here. It's going to be fun driving by this and enjoying this. I see a lot of the residents are here. I hope you guys approve. It's your yeah. piece. And I saw, yes, I hear it. So thanks so much for inviting me. Um, 
Great. It's great to be here. Enjoy over the years. This is a fabulous addition to Sunny Slope. Thank you. As the councilman points out that these pieces belong to the community and to keep the Office of Arts and Culture in line and making sure that the community is heard, we are also committed with our uh, Phoenix Arts and Culture Advisory Commission who start the process and vote on these projects before they go to City Council. And we have our illustrious chair, Regina Nixon, here with us today to say a few words. So thank you everybody for coming out this evening and I just want to say this is a wonderful celebration for this community. It is no longer the Dead Grass Park on 6th Street, right? Yes. Okay. Um, the Phoenix Office of Arts and Culture and the Commission is delighted to support and see another of these well sites uh, and this project come to life. This site by artist Barbara Gregudis is a, and landscape architect's dig studio is called A Path for Water because it references the original historic purpose of the well in this neighborhood to protect and provide water for our citizens. The landscaping here reiterates this purpose in its design using low water use plants and strategically placed drainage and retention to improve site sustainability. Again, thank you to the artist Barbara Gregudis. Thank you, Barbara. And landscape architects Dig Studio for their creativity and design also, Bollinger Adler, who fabricated the sculpture, and Felix Construction, who worked to build the site. Also, thank you to the community and to all of our elected officials for their continued support of this collaboration between Water Services Department and the Office of Arts and Culture. Thank you. Before we wrap and allow everyone to experience the site, I want to thank uh, the Office of Arts and Culture Public Art Team, led by Ed Lebo, our Public Art Program Director, Katie Stiegel, our Public Art Project Manager, Elizabeth Grahalis, our Senior Public Art Project Manager, Barry Sparkman, another Public Art Program Manager, and also Mike Alesco, who is our Public Art Committee Chair on our commission, so thank you. The community has opened their doors through the process and through the end. And Ironwood Studios uh, in this building right here is holding refreshments. If you'd like to uh, partake, you just go through the gates. There's some warehouse doors next to the yoga studio. So thank you to Scott Mills and Leah Bosworth. And also artist Fausto Fernandez has his studio there. Uh, and I think he is with us over there. So thank you. So thank you so much for being with us. And we're so glad to give this over to the neighborhood. Thank you.